Hello everyone. Welcome to the 25th episode of Mind Your Language Commentaries. In this episode, I'll be commenting, commenting on just the job. Uh, our troubles are over. <laughs> you are emigrating. <laughs> Excuse me if I'm not the laugh. Please don't tell me, please tell me Renji is joking, but why did he say, why did he wish Jabani to be going away? There must be some reason that we are not aware of. All we gotta do is pick 11 matches. That gives us 220 lines. Well, we're bound to get one line, right? Alright, how much needs to be picked? To be honest, the probabilities are too are still too low. About 10, if 10 students all bet on this, there's still a chance that they're they, they not gonna win. Besides, some students like Suli will not bet because she thinks that this betting gambling is not in line with her beliefs. 20, 20p. You could win a half a million. I could also lose 20p. That's true. I think losing 20p is more likely than gaining fifth half a million pounds. Hey, good morning, lady. Good morning. Oh, blame <laughs> it. Is big. The first time Ali realized how strong Anna is. Yes. <laughs> or perhaps it could be raining. <laughs> yes. Perhaps it could be raining. Yeah, all right, that'll do. Thank you. <laughs> Anna is literally mirroring Ali. <laughs> My name is Carlo. Juan Carlos is one making a nickname for himself or an, an alias. What do you mean? You want a drink? I don't drink. Bad for river. To be honest, she should have said, I do not drink alcoholic drinks, but if you want if you want a drink, it could also mean that you want something non alcoholic. Chairman Mao, he say we must try and use every opportunity to spread socialist doctrine amongst unrightened people. Yeah, well, and yet she has failed to get one follower in this class. Hey. Uh, this party not very good, eh? Uh, why not we go uh, somewhere else? Duck. Let's go back to my place. Okay. <laughs> How to end a conversation in as soon as possible? Put them away. You can do some exercises. Hey, I know plenty exercise. Uh, one, two, three, four, six, seven, nine, six. Oh, uh, not those sort of exercises. Exercises from your books, page 120. Sorry, wrong number. The ex this exercise part is similar to season 1 episode 2 where Giovanni tells Mr. Brown I can't do any exercises because he has a bad back. Oh, you know, you do remind me of my husband. Really? Yeah, just before he died. <laughs> uh, that was a little inappropriate. Now then, I shall come straight to the point. Good. No use beating about the bush. Oh. After all, procrastination is a thief of time. Absolutely. You're still beating around a bush, Mr. English. No. Your name was given to me by one of your former students, Miss Svensson. Ah, oh, yes, Ingrid. Ingrid. Oh, so this is where Ingrid transferred to. And it's kind of nice for her. It's kind of nice for her to, you know, mention Mr. Brown because she has a crush on him, as we know. The starting salary is five thousand a year, rising to seven and a half thousand by yearly increments. Five thousand a year. Let's see. Hmm. Is it? Is it like four hundred plus pounds per month? Which is a decent. I think at the time it's a decent pay, because I think four hundred pounds now is probably three thousand to four thousand pounds in today's time. And I still wonder how much Mr. Quanti is paying Mr. Brown though. Maybe only two hundred or one hundred fifty pounds a month. Your seat was eavesdropping on the conversation. Ha oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Miss Dolores Courtney, Master of Arts from Be from the Oxford University. Oh, that's why she, she is the principal. Is it because she, she has she has the Master of Arts? I see. That doesn't give me much time to find a replacement. Technically, if you let's say resign from a job, you're supposed to give a notice period. It depends on every job. Some jobs require one month. Some some jobs require three months. You won't find another principal like me. I'm sure I won't. <laughs> Maybe a better principal. I don't know. <laughs> Is Guan copying Suli's answer because he knows she's smart? Wow. Wow. Well, you see, we don't need anybody now. The chap that left came back again. Good, isn't it? <laughs> Good for you, bad for him. Maybe we are we have lady teacher. Given how Miss Courtney favors female teachers, that is quite likely. But is this it? 
I do hope we're all going to get on together extremely well. It does a surprise to see him because Miss Courtney preferred female teachers. But yes, it's a surprise to see this teacher. <laughs> you, give me a sentence using the word defer. Minks are bred for defer. Another pronunciation joke. Explain the meaning of the phrase to bury the hatchet. To chop someone's head off. <laughs> French Revolution joke. Complete the following proverb. People who live in glass houses should get undressed in the dark. Technically he's right, but the, the complete the proverb it should say people who live in glass houses should not throw stones or rocks. What is an aspirate? It is a table at all. You take it. We know you have cold <laughs> Actually, back in season 1 episode 10, Mr. Brown explains that an expert is a sound made by the letter H. Like, yes, that's what he meant. Instead of what Taro said. <laughs> even I think even if the students do not play dub, some of, some of them will not know what the answer is anyways. What is the opposite of a coward? A bullard. Or it should be a hero, but yes. The left. It's enough to make any Hang on, hang on, hang on. Who wrote this equation on the board? It looks like some how do you call it? Mo it's not modulus. Is it modulus? Oh sorry, the matrix. This is the matrix question. I'm going to teach you all English if it takes me a lifetime. Now This Mr. Wilkin is so determined. Three hooray hip hips for the bush. <laughs> That's gotta be the most funniest hip hip hooray line that I've ever heard. It should be hip hip hooray, then, but they reverse it and said hooray hip hip. <laughs> for you, hang on, hang on. Is that tr is that trigonometry at the whiteboard? Well, thank you for watching the 25th episode of Mayan Language Commentaries. As I said before, I will try to finish all the commentary, all the season, all the remaining episodes by the end of this week. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you real soon. Bye now.